What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and there's been a lot that's been going on recently. So in this video, I thought I'd compile pretty much everything that's going on, including the new update, jailbreak status, as well as some new Apple products and a couple other little bits into one video to keep you guys updated. Now, the number one question I'm being asked right now is, are we gonna see an iOS 8.1.3 jailbreak update? And the quick answer is no, because iOS 8.1.3 is such an insignificant little update. It's probably the last update to iOS 8.1 that we'll see it's very unlikely that it'll be a 0.4 but the reason why we will not see an update is because 8.1.3 did patch the jailbreak and by patch I mean it patched five of the exploits and there's a total of about 10 to 11 that Taiji and Pangu used so it's very unlikely that we will see a minor jailbreak on 8.1.3 there is some good news and some bad news however the bad news is that 8.1.3 did patch the kernel exploit that's been used all the way back since I was 7.1 it's Ionix jailbreak exploit uh, it's a kernel exploit so it's one of the most invaluable ones and Apple finally patched it. Every jailbreak between 7.1 and 8.1.2 has been using this same kernel exploit, just slightly modified. So it might create a major problem for the 8.2 jailbreak, I don't know. However, the Taiji jailbreak team did express their confidence that they will be able to produce an iOS 8.2 jailbreak very soon after its official release. And I honestly don't know how much I can trust that. However, they have delivered on their promises in the past. So I'm actually looking forward to seeing how iOS 8.2 is gonna be dealt with. Are they gonna wait until a further update of 8.2 or are they gonna release a jailbreak right away? So I'm actually looking forward to seeing that. Now, like I said, this team did express their confidence that they'll be able to release a jailbreak. However, I don't know if the fact that the kernel exploit is patched is gonna influence that whatsoever. So let's hope that an 8.2 jailbreak will be possible in the future. Now, if you guys did update to 8.1.3 on accident, it's still possible to downgrade. It's not too late. The signing period is still open. And there's one problem, however. If you guys did update to iTunes 12.1, that's gonna cause an issue. You do have to downgrade it. And if you guys wanna know how to downgrade that, if you're having any kind of issues with the downgrade, process in the description down below there will be a link to an iTunes 12.1 downgrade tutorial to the older version so that will clear out some issues that some of you guys were having now unfortunately the Game Boy Advance for iOS emulator that was available without jailbreaking has been patched by Apple in 8.1.2 and 8.1.3 However, the team is working on a solution to get that working. I know a lot of you guys have that installed and you're disappointed to see that it no longer works. So I will be keeping you guys updated as soon as I learn any kind of news on that. I personally am waiting for that myself. And there's one last thing. Apple's holding a media event towards the end of this month or beginning of March, and there's gonna be two main subjects. One is the Apple Watch. Apple is expected to give more details such as pricing, availability, maybe even some more specs on the actual device in this event. And the other other topic is the Retina MacBook Air, supposedly a Retina MacBook Air, or it could be a new 12 inch MacBook, you know, completely different from the Air series whatsoever, which is pretty much going to be a very slim and light MacBook. It's going to reduce the amount of ports it has to one USB 3.1 port. It's going to have really good battery life. And other than that, you know, there's not too much details, but it will have a Retina display as well. So alongside the Apple Watch, the Retina MacBook Air 12 inch should be announced at this event and it's rumored to be held towards the end of this month or beginning of March. Now, it's very possible that iOS 8.2 could drop in March. 8.2 at the moment, we haven't seen really any kind of differences. It looks almost the same. However, the main purpose of this firmware is to support Apple's watch. It'll give you know devices the ability to support and communicate with the Apple watch if you guys, of course, are gonna be purchasing that. Other than that, no new features have been observed. So the best thing for you guys to do right now is stay on your current firmware. If you're on a firmware that's older than 8.1.2, you can still update to 8.1.2. At the moment of me making this video, the signing period is still open, as I said. Also, if you guys are on 8.1.3, you guys can still downgrade. Now, 8.2 is gonna be coming out in March. You remember, eventually it will have a jailbreak and there will be a couple new awesome Apple products as well next month. So, uh, you know guys, that's pretty much it. Little update for you. 8.1.3 jailbreak is not gonna happen. Don't be waiting for that. Stay on your current firmware. If you are jailbroken, I'll still be making videos for the jailbreak. And just wanted to keep you guys updated. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Peace.